Good morning, you legends. It is Monday here in Melbourne. The uh, Formula One track is well and truly in progress. And uh, man, I, as I said to you before, I love these balloons. I don't know if you can see them over there. But uh, they're so beautiful against the morning sky. Anyway, off to work. It's Monday, it's question and answers day, let's get stuck straight into it. Hey, what about a weekly, fortnightly, or monthly Maven ride? Yeah, roughy. Yeah mate, sounds like a good idea actually. Um, might start a, I don't know, might do a monthly ride. Got a lot, there's a lot on my plate at the moment, so I'm just trying to get through this little section, but I think a monthly ride might be a good idea, maybe on a Wednesday morning. my kind of guy. So Asman Gale says, any tips on Casey Fields crit for a beginner? I'm gonna give it a crack next Sunday. So uh, Casey Fields is a, a master's race here in Melbourne. If I was to suggest anything, mate, I'd just say look after your legs, don't do anything crazy, don't get dropped, just sit in and try to understand what it, the correct feeling of sitting in with a bunch and uh, just for the first three or four rides, just roll around with a bunch and look after yourself. All right, that one was from Dan Wilkins. Thanks, Dan. Love you. Love your shit, mate. You can send anything through, question or otherwise. All right, Seb says, how do you attach the GoPros to your bike? Mate, I use a combination of GoPro mounts. I use um, the sticky surfboard mount. They're probably the hardest place uh, to put a GoPro is under the seat, but it's probably the best place under the seat looking backwards. And I use actually use a surfboard mount for that and I stick it under the seat and then uh, wait for it to dry and obviously uh, use the GoPro from there. On the front handlebar mount, you know, if you don't have an aero, uh, aero handlebars, you can actually get the K-Edge GoPro mount. That's probably the best thing for it. Andy B asks, what, what are my thoughts on the Garmin 510? Mate, uh, I reckon they're way better than the 810s. They're smaller, they're lighter, and uh, they're pretty simple, and they're great for racing cyclists. So I'd get the 510, I use the 510. Um, so yeah, that's the way to go. So Gabrielle Garza says, hey Maven, is it good prep to slam your legs once a week with low cadence? Uh, to build leg strength. Yes, it is. If you can do it once a week, you can do 60 RPM and do, say, five reps of five minutes up a hill. It's awesome uh, strength endurance training. But uh, if you've got knee problems or anything like that, just, just keep an eye on it. Um, low cadence strength work isn't great for your knees. And so uh, if you're an older cyclist, probably, probably just stick with high cadence stuff. Darren asked me, why do Southern Masters Cycling not allow GoPros at the races? Uh, look, it, I'm not too sure. I've asked him several times to give me an answer as to why not. They don't have to really. It's their club. They can do what they want. Uh, the UCI doesn't allow GoPros at all, which is just draconian and stupid. Um, fortunately, here in Victoria, we've got an awesome Cycling Victoria. They're fantastic. And they've said, you know what? We're going to allow GoPros. And look at the amazing footage from you know, from this year, Vlog 100, you know, it was like, that was a bit of a recap of some of the great footage that we've gotten. So look, it's just silly. I hope they change their minds. They're all good people out there. There's nothing, you know, it's just that, I think it's a legal thing. I think they don't want to have 
crashes and they don't want people sort of skylarking and messing around in front of the camera and uh, that's probably the biggest reason but uh, look in time I think down the track they probably will allow it once they see the benefits of social media and the marketing and etc and how fun it is and how how it brings to people to the sport so we'll wait and see Jake says, I noticed you've stopped swearing in your vlogs. Yes, that is true. A uh, bit of a long story there. I had my dad ring me up one day and say, your mum watches these vlogs, stop swearing. Uh, number two, I had someone from, uh, who I respect, uh, really respect, for, someone from the clubs, ring me up and say, look, we've got a lot, lot of young riders watch your channel, probably don't swear as much. And, uh, and uh, what else? I think someone at work said, yeah, one of my mates at work said, You've, I've noticed you dropped a few F-bombs lately. And I know that he's got two little kids that he, he's, you know, at home. So I thought, ah, oh, it's just not worth it. So I've stopped swearing. Hope you guys appreciate that. What you see here, I'm exactly the same in real life. So, uh, you know, sometimes I swear, maybe I should stop swearing in real life as well. But um, yeah, that's, that's why I've stopped. Okay, Alfie Brown says, what's your biggest tip for conquering nerves in a criterium, in your first criterium? Mate, uh, you've just got to, nerves are a good thing because it sort of means that you care about the result, but you've just got to go out there, smash yourself. Maybe for the first crit, you know, just be confident in your ability, go out and uh, sit within the bunch and sort of try to understand how the bunch stretches out, feel what it's like when people attack and the, ba the bunch chases. And just try to look after yourself, keep your heart rate down, uh, keep your lactic acid down, and just try to hang in there for the first two or three crits. And then after a few crits, you can sort of work out what's going on and start attacking and position yourself for the final sprint and things like that. But nerves are a good thing as long as you don't get too nervous. Otherwise, you're gonna, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be detrimental to your race. So anyway, guys, that is it for the Q&A for this week. Uh, it's been a, that 100th vlog took me absolutely ages to, uh, to, to make. So I hope you enjoyed that. And um, stay tuned. The vlogging will be back to normal as of tomorrow. And uh, I'll chat with you guys then.